start. Come on, start. But this thing starts up in a bit. One second. I have no idea why it stops and then it starts up in one second. So you put people on that, obviously it's going to go slower. And then, <laughs> no, it's going to have a sign, like advertising. People go in there, this is going to go slower, it's going to be like a teacup ride. That was a teacup. I doubt that. So that this thing spins around and like brings it down here like that and then there's going to be something here that just drops down there. Yeah. When it gets to the end? Yeah. Maybe it will just spin all the way around. Oh my god. Put it on. It's going to fall off so bad. <laughs> Right here is the cage ride, and this is a spinning wheel of death. And by activating this and saying, yeah, <laughs> this will come. And then by touching this, this will turn on. Go. Yeah! <laughs> See, it's both turning. And then this turns backwards. <laughs> now it's done for 30 seconds, both to let people on. Okay, so this is our amusement park project that we built. And we plan to build a spinny rod, two spinny rides, and something that involves a gear wall. And some problems we encountered were making this gear wall and the base of this ride stable and keeping these wires from getting tangled with the rides. If we add more time on our project, we'll probably make this ride more stable and like connect more connect pieces on this wall. This thing starts by the ticket wall, and then we push the touch to here, and then we all stop, and it stops, and this one keeps on going with that one. This is a swing ride, and and uh, this. And the light sensor starts it. The sound sensor makes it go faster, then the touch sensor uh, stops it. St fast! And then there's going to be something here that just drops down there. Yeah. When it gets to the end?